Hey, what's going on YouTube? The Beauty Baron here bringing you guys another Phasmophobia video. In today's video, we take on this week's weekly challenge, and it's called Detectives Only. So now what we can see here is that it's pretty much going to be a zero evidence run. So I'm interested in how these are going to work. We're going to head over to Edgefield Street or Edgefield Road, try to be able to figure out the ghost. So if you like this kind of video, please give it a like, share it with a friend. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing as well. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So now because that this is, because we know that the ghost is not going to give us any evidence here, right? We don't need to bring in everything to try to be able to figure it out. We just need to bring in the different stuff to try to, uh... Who thinks our Lord and Savior Baron will die this round? What? I'm not going to die. All right, plus two, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Actually, that's one of the things that we could do. Maybe if he feels like dancing. Feel like dancing, dancing. All right, no orbs. No orbs. Um, so not a mimic, not a wraith. I'll figure those out. What's up, hey, hey, money? Or hey, hey, honey? Sorry. Monkey, thank you for that, Vala. Welcome to the Bearded Baron crew. Uh, let's see. We'll take that. Take both of the crucifixes here. Oh boy there. Hello there. Galaxy Brad, thank you for that follow. Taya, thank you for the follow. Chelsea, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you guys. Have a bad count. Now, if I get something, maybe we can get something like summoning circle. That would actually be really helpful. Let's see what we can get for... Because then I can snap a photo. Right? So no mirror, no music box, no tarot cards. Let's check down here. <sighs> Nothing there. Half of these you're able to figure out just from the way that it hunts. Monkey paw, no monkey paw. Is it going to be terror or not? Uh... What am I missing? Oh, it's Ouija board. Reaper of death 101. Thank you for that follow. Welcome to the Bearded Baron crew. Where are you? Goodbye. Okay, so my sanity is at 50% right now. Okay, we got the photo real quick. What's up, Sid? How are you doing today? Lacrosse 117 and Shaylak. Thank you for those follows. Welcome to the Great Barrier. Not a Dijon, not a Maroi, not a Raiju, not a Thay, not a Revenant, not a Hantu, not a Phantom. Oh, it's just done hunting that fast? Okay. Sam, thank you for that follow. Monkey, thank you for that follow. He turned off the power. Not a gin. Really likes touching that door. Run through the crucifix. Really don't. <laughs> You guys see it? <laughs> My God. Yep, we found him. <laughs> Chat, what the hell? Did he ninja star throw the <laughs> throw this into the light? 
Why are they always naked? Wait, did it turn on the light? Did it flip on a light switch or did it flip it off? I think it flipped it off. If anyone on my TikTok followed you here though, I would follow on Twitch too. I appreciate that. Shay. Darinka, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the Bearded Baron crew. Mackenzie, thank you for the follow as well. Mm. I don't think it's a demon. I think that's an Oni. I'm gonna say Oni. How did he not get you? Well, that first time when I ran into him, that was an event. Now, the reason why we can tell that that's an Oni is just because it's vi he's visible most of the time. Right? During the hunt. So that's that's how we were able to tell this one. We're going to go ahead and leave. I think we, I think we got it on that one. Yeah, they, they, uh, the Oni's blink slow. Tommy, I love this game too. So there we go. We got one. Let's do it. <clears throat> Alright, same thing again here. I'm really hoping that one of these is dots. Or, I mean, uh, orbs. So I can just be like, yay, mimic. Okay, so we got... So I could just ask. Just ask here. Where are you? Goodbye. Large blue bedroom. Let's drop this. Gremlins, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the Beta Baron crew. There it is. Are we in the Bim Bam family gonna do another collab? Um oh it is a mimic. Wait. All right, well, that one was easy. <laughs> Just curious, but what is everyone's favorite ice cream flavor? Ah! CC, thank you for the 200 bits. Dark Shadow, thank you for the 100 bits. I'd have to say, like, Rocky Road. Definitely like a chocolate kind of guy. Aaron, have a wonderful night. Thank you for being here. Casey. Welcome back. Thank you for that follow. Welcome to the Big Baron Group. Look at that. Minute and 25 seconds. Let's go. All right, last one. Yeah, in a no evidence run, if you find, if you take a look and you see orbs, then you know immediately that it's a uh, it's a mimic because the orbs don't count as evidence. That's why I bring that in. Also, I bring in the EMF just so that way we can verify, like, oh, it touched on that door or something like that. Where are you? Goodbye. Purple bedroom. Click clack. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you for that follow. Welcome to the Beta Baron crew. This is the weekly challenge. Rouge Marie, yep. So it's not a rave, uh, not a mimic. We'll rule that out. Now let's grab this and this. Let's get the power on while we wait for it to hunt us.
Baron 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 Hi Okay. Sid, thank you for the hundred bits. Poltergeist? You figured I'd throw some chaos in there. Thank you. Thank you, Sid. I appreciate that. M. Schmidt, 89. Thank you for that follow. Welcome to the Beauty Bear and Grove. I mean, it did throw around a lot of stuff. Well, I was like. Still got to We still got to verify it for sure, though. All right, let's head back out. So it wasn't super fast. So it's not a Dijon Thay, Maroi. Uh, it's probably not a Raiju either. Not a Revenant. Not a Hantu. Um, yeah, that's what we got right now. Yeah, we we do need to make a pulty pile. I do need to get these up here first, and then we'll take an extra one of these up here. Yep, Polter guys have footsteps. Security dog, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the Breed of Baron crew. Right, let's put that one there, and then we'll put this one like here. In front of her. Yeah, it is touching a lot of stuff. Ma'am, don't do that. Okay, my mouth was open. I never get poltergeist. I feel like I never really get poltergeist either. Uh, poltergeist are probably one of my favorites. Son of a New temporary life goal until it has been achieved. See Back to the Future the musical. My favorite movies ever. New temporary life goal until it has been achieved. See Back to the Future the musical. My favorite movies ever. They're not movies, they're musicals. <laughs> Tell me it's an EMF five. I thought this wasn't supposed to be giving me evidence. I'm curious if this is going to be an EMF five ghost. I'm curious if we're actually still getting that evidence. See that? See that dip between a seven to a two? I'm curious. I don't know if it actually is or not. We're going to assume that it's not. So let, let's see. How do you know the difference between a hunt and an event? The front door locks. Right? So, there's a couple of things that happen, and it's something that you get used to. Right? The front door will lock. You'll hear the ghost first before the ghost actually appears. So, those are really good indicators. And then, um, once the ghost hunts a particular way, like, whatever sound the ghost makes the first time around that it hunts, it will make that same sound every time that it hunts afterwards. So, if you have a, a, a ghost that laughs at you, Right? Then every single time afterwards, it will always laugh. Normally, EMF 5 does mean EMF 5. Right? I needed to hunt so I could get a look at it. Um, again. I'm going to take this, and we're going to put it downstairs. I'm going to put it downstairs onto here. Because gins like to mess with the power box, but they won't turn it off. So we'll, we would hear an EMF read on the breaker, but it wouldn't turn off the power. So saying its name over and over and over again doesn't actually do anything. It used to. So I could be like Megan, 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 Megan. It just won't do anything. Hello? You here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, airball hiss means it's not an Oni. Could maybe be shade. Maybe? Hello there, Emily. How are you doing today? It's touching the door a lot. Is 
this a mayor? Right, he was touching the door a lot. Turn off the light again. Mm. Oh, thank you. See how much it touches stuff now. Kendrick Grant, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the Beauty Baron crew. I couldn't be if it tries to hunt somebody in the room. Oh no, all the ghosts, if you piss them off enough, they definitely will. Mama Pangu, thank you for the lurk. <laughs> Appreciate all the love from me. I did not lose it. Okay. Is it true that if you don't use it, you lose it? Modest, uh, Sylvian, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the Beauty Baron uh, they, everybody's doing great. Favorite ghost? I enjoy active ghosts. Right? I want something to scare the shit out of me. Okay, so we cut off the power. So not a yen. So I'm gonna try to get a photo of the ghost. If I insult the ghost on the spear box, will it hunt instantly? No. Believe me, if that was a thing, we definitely would like... I would be using it, I'd be like, fuck this mother... Beep, beep, beep. Hello there, Lillian. Welcome back. What happens if you take all the stuff to the car? You just take all the stuff to the car, Zayden. I think there is a speed run for doing that, where you take all the stuff, like how fast you can actually take everything out of the house. I think. I think it's a... I, maybe is a speed run? I don't know. There is a shower speed run that was made off because of me. Are you over here? You are over here. Are you over here because... It, so if I turn off this light, right? Do you... <laughs> you turned it off. Hello there, Johnny. Explain the shower speed run to me. <laughs> so the shower speed run is pretty self-explanatory. Right, not an obake. Not an obake. My day's been great so far. Right, it didn't shape shift on us. See, we got the three-star ghost photo, so not a phantom, right? Not an Obake. Um, I don't think that it's a yokai or, or a myling. I think maybe it could be like a Yuri. I'm really leaning towards a mare. It definitely seems like to be much more aggressive for it being a mare. I'm going to, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, because these are going so fast, I'm just going to guess that it's a mare and we're going to leave. And if I'm wrong, then hey, okay, then we'll go again. Right? Or it's actually an EMF five ghost and it's like a spirit or Gorio or something like that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna guess mare. Let's see. Andy, thank you for the GG's, the TikTok and the tiny dinies. I appreciate that. How do you know if it's a demon besides the evidences? Uh the crucifixes work really well. Hey, and it was a mare. Let's go. There you go. Easy challenge. Easy. Easy day. Easy 30 levels.